Hi everyone, welcome to Eve Talk, your weekly look at the markets in Eve Online. As always, I'm your host, The Lone Wolf. And uh, well, it turns out that actually uh, the skill I thought was new uh, about the jump clones in Clone Vat Base is actually an old uh, skill that exists since uh, the Roar Call can actually uh, field Vat Base. And uh, so, yeah, I might have been a little bit wrong in my speculation video. But then uh, I'm going to add another uh, thing to my wish list actually, just quickly. Um, and that's going to be the modular bosses. I think chances are very remote uh, that CCP will actually change the, the bosses for the next expansion. But uh, if there's anything else, I would love to see it's, it's the modular bosses. But we are here for the market. So let's check it out. Uh, as always, we start with the minerals and here we go, Tritanium chart. Uh, still definitely on the downtrend here and what's the tail end looking like uh, it might be trying to work on a bottom because I if I'm not mistaken there was something pretty interesting yep here we go uh, some massive buy orders at 5.7 uh, ISK in fact uh, I read on reddit that uh, the total ISK uh, without the um, the skill to reduce the amount needed in the wallet uh, would have been around 260 billion ISK invested um, in Tritanium at 4.70. So as you can see now, buy orders are slowly going up above that. Uh, 4.73 in fact for the for buy orders and 4.79. So it's it's really going to be really hard um, for Tritanium to break the 4.7 barrier. Uh, because someone just put up so much buy order here that uh, that they basically created an artificial bottom. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if, if whoever did that investment, uh, if it's going to work out. Uh, I suspect it might, you know, if he can basically create a bottom all on his own. Because that's so much Tritanium uh, that a lot of people will need to bring it to the market in order just to fill those buy orders. And uh, if, if now the winter expansion... Uh, provides anything that could be uh, intensive for industrialists for producing stuff a uh, tritanium demand might just explode and he might just have made a really good investment there if he manages to uh, to actually buy all of that tritanium of course so that is the big risk is actually that um, that these buy orders don't get filled but very interesting and uh, yeah, hopefully a sign for a bottom. Let's have a look here at Pyrite. Um, one year chart, you can see the downtrend from above 15 ISK. Uh, three month chart, uh, hard to say, you know, it's, it's also slowing down its descent, uh, but overall still a downward trend over three months. Current price 11.15 uh, for the buyers, 11.25 for the sellers. Uh, after that, Mixalon, my personal investment because we saw uh, it go back up a little bit last week. That's probably the small bubble here. Well, it's it's struggling to break 40 again, but you, I think you can see that it doesn't want to uh, drop down too much anymore from this point. Look at the one year chart. Oh, that's a terrible data point right here that's screwing everything up. But starting at 60 and now just below 40, current prices in station. I bought stuff at 40. Oh, actually, 39.04 for the buyers, 39.47 uh, for sellers. So I am looking at loss at the moment because I bought it at around 40 ISK uh, for Mixalon. So I'll have to wait a little bit. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will actually start to go up. Once it breaks 40 again, uh, it might just start going up and uh, the investment might have been worth it. Uh, Isogen, let's have a quick look at that chart. And there's a lot of da corrupted data points here. Still, again, well, again, a downtrend is clear here on this three month chart, but you can again see a small data point right there tipping up above the 20 day moving average. Current prices 123.90 for the buyers, 123.93 for the sellers. So, no margin there whatsoever. Pretty interesting. Uh, let's see what else we have. Noxium. Uh, ooh, that's still going down quite heavily actually <laughs> and a one-year chart yeah look at that downtrend uh, breaking 700 is that correct current price yeah definitely uh, 660 something like that so definitely it broke 700 substantially 
uh, that's not a good sign for the other uh, minerals to be honest that uh, noxium is still dropping like that uh, zydrine at least this descent is slowing down here again close to the 600 mark 610 612 something like that and then uh, megasite also not going down too much so yeah it's it's really hard to say uh, tritanium might be working on a bottom pyrite looks like that as well mixalon well hopefully it'll it'll work out uh, of course noxium is the one that looks pretty bad look at that chart that's not something you want to see uh, and but the other ones isogen megasite and even zydrine they're all definitely slowing down their descent so we might just be uh, coming closer to a, a bottom and uh, yeah of course the the next expansion the information on that is going to be very interesting so obviously my buying of mixalon uh, is basically placing a bet that the bottom is very close and that it will actually go up substantially towards the winter expansion but for now i'm on the losing side because i bought a little too early uh, let's have a look at tick one ships then uh, let's have a look uh, drake Ooh, trying to come back at 42 million current price is 42,150. so here again you know this could be a bottom forming um, is it going to last i don't know if activity if this is due to uh, picked up activity it could last and and minerals could also start going up uh, but maybe the other ships are a better indication uh, very volatile but again here five day moving average and 20 day coming together and a data point above 175 current prices yeah 177 even for sellers of maelstroms so that definitely uh, is back up a little bit from last week omen picking up as well oh very interesting and the rock here again five day moving average above 20 day moving average and then the talos oh going up again as well very very interesting um, the tech one ships are indicating a bottom uh, because if you look at the full one year chart all time low for uh, most of these yeah all time low for the rock uh, the omen not all time but definitely low since odyssey maelstrom all time low for a year and the drake as well uh, but all of them are pushing back up uh, very very interesting are people coming back to eve online starting to buy ships is this zero zero action or is this just the market uh, that is that is finally saying well it's it's low enough people are starting to come back it's it's time to uh, to increase the price again time to get back into some inflationary uh, situations uh, take one ship seems to indicate that uh, the minerals uh, they're very hesitant uh, in my opinion uh, which is a little strange because usually you would expect minerals to to uh, move before take one chips um, so right now producers um, of take one chips they should be rejoicing because their margins are increasing uh, seeing the the ships increase but the minerals still hesitating uh, but this is a good sign uh, a positive sign uh, towards a possible bottom being formed in the minerals and the take one market so very interesting basically all of them have this this up uptick here at the end in the five day moving average crossing the 20 day moving average so let's hope let's hope for for miners and uh, take one industrialists that this is indeed the bottom being formed uh, and that now they can uh, start to enjoy uh, upward prices towards the winter expansion a uh, quick look then at uh, take two ships which i use for trade uh, absolution yeah not too hot but a small um, a small spike to be seen here uh, at least um, Astarte ooh, look at how much that's going down with 20 day moving average at 250 current price 240 um, so although it's still not as low as like 210 220 very very sharp movements great for trading uh, but I would wait a little bit longer um, I think maybe Astarte could head back towards the 220 before going back up um, but uh, definitely it pulled back quite a bit on the five day moving average right here and so yeah you might start to have half an eye on Astarte for a buying opportunity if you're into that uh, take two trading uh, Claremore still looking pretty high um, so I'd say try to sell if you have some uh, Damnation again the Amar ones are not uh, being too volatile very flat around 250 so wouldn't uh, invest anything there EOS's yeah that one is holding up at uh, 314 very few sell orders so people have bought all the eoses 
um, and uh, yeah if you want one you'll have to put down a lot of money but I suspect uh, that right now this market is, is heavily being um, manipulated by whoever has EOSs and is in production line of EOSs just because of how unique it's become uh, the only battle cruiser with five heavy drones and so this is actually normal uh, but yeah not not something you want to trade in at the moment obviously quick check of the guardian here well at least i do see some volatility that is nice to see look at that uh, back down below the 20 day moving average this is around a 10 million mm, well, it's it's still a little low you know if you would start to see variations of 15 to 20 million then you have trade worthy stuff uh, at the moment yeah still a little early let's hope it the volatility picks picks back up uh, Nighthawk, uh, it's it's actually going pretty high for the Nighthawk, so uh, I'd be looking to sell, not to buy. Slip near that one is going down substantially, um, although you can also see that this chart is, is uh, less volatile than the rest. Uh, one big spike of 50 million here, a couple more of, of 20 uh, million over here. So, yeah, maybe a couple sl slip nears could be a, a good investment, but don't expect a weekly turnaround on these. It's obvious that it takes a bit longer. And then the Vulture, yeah, coming back definitely into buying opportunity territory, in my opinion. Um, although here again, you can see uh, that the chart is, is pretty flat as well. Uh, it's coming off a nice high here and, uh, and working its way down. So uh, once it reaches again, this normal price of 210, something like that. Uh, yeah, buy orders pretty close to that, you know, maybe picking up a, a vulture or two on buy orders could be a good investment as well. Uh, but uh, the the great one at the moment, I would say, is the Astarte. Just look at how volatile this chart is. That's perfect for trading. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's the one I'd be looking out for the most. Uh, selling, yeah, for the rest, not that many uh, buying opportunities. Maybe the Damnation a little bit. EOS, no. Uh, Guardian needs to go lower again. Yeah, maybe then the Vulture and the Slip near. You know, if you can actually uh, buy a few of those for longer term, not weekly turnaround like the Astarte. You know, this could move very quickly. This moves a little bit more slowly, but both of these look uh, maybe close to a buying opportunity, in my opinion. Um, tick tree stuff. Legion going back down after the upswing from last week, so still below 175. Uh, Loki still going down so I would have thought if this was some manipulation uh, we saw this on the Tengu two weeks ago uh, on the Legion here is it on the Proteus then yeah here is the Proteus spike okay interesting so if that one drops back below uh, 20 day moving average look out for a Loki spike uh, to me this this feels like someone is doing the rounds of the tech tree ships uh, trying to make some some bugs but uh, some money some ISK some uh, big bugs uh, by by manipulating the price a little bit uh, because these are weekly spikes uh, that have no real explanation and so uh, right now it's the Proteus's turn uh, if you had some I think selling opportunities could be here uh, the Loki is still flat so yeah this might be the next market to be manipulated this is speculation on my part but I see no reasons uh, for this Legion, Proteus or Tengu spike uh, that we've seen in the last few weeks. Melted Nano Ribbons, my investment. And um, I'm very glad to report right here at the tail end that the 5 day moving average moved back above uh, the 20 day moving average. So uh, the bottom right here, 4.8, close to 5 million. Uh, not, not bad, you know, but this is definitely again a sign of a bottom being formed right here. Uh, where, where it crosses 20 day moving average so if the previous uh, spikes are any indication my melted nano ribbons investment could look to be pretty good in in, in a, a decently short time you know towards the winter expansion if more people <coughs> want to try out um, wormhole space yeah the melted nano ribbon market might just uh, be moving uh, back up here so Interesting, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Melted Nano Ribbons looking okay. Mexalon looking like I bought a little bit too early. But yeah, that's also uh, the Tech 3 market. Let's have a quick look at the Marauder charts. Ah, such a bad chart. Maybe a little bit better on six months. Yeah, uh, well, the spike is over and the Golem is back down. So uh, this looks again like a, like a speculative bubble here. Not so much anything on, on a 
on a real basis because after all the changes for the uh, marauders are, are still work in progress so yeah that's just people that uh, that try to make some ice k on on the announcements look at the chronos pulling back as well although it's still higher than, than what it was uh, six months ago for the most part uh, the pullback has already been quite serious paladin pulling back and varger also so yeah small speculative bubble uh, there's no real reason for this, uh, but keep in mind that we're talking about a 100 million uh, jump for every uh, Marauder. So again, people have made some nice money and others have lost quite a bit uh, considering where the chart is ending up now. But uh, that speculative bubble in the Marauders is over and it looks to me like they're all going back to their normal prices. So the interest of that, the hype here, has already faded. Next up, Fuel Blocks. Um, Amar ones flat at around 15k, Kaldari ones um, yeah, heading towards 15k. I'm a bit surprised because I thought that the goons were back on Kaldari interdiction. Uh, but that one's not moving so much, this speculative bubble uh, with the announcement. I guess it was really the big movement. Uh, but overall the impact is still being pretty tame. Um, Galente fuel blocks again around 15k. And Minmatar fuel blocks around 14k. So decently stable all of them. Um, and the only ones here is the Kaldari one. Despite the announcement that the goons were uh, going to go back into uh, interdicting uh, Gale uh, Kaldari ice mining. Uh, price is, is looking to be decently stable and slowly trending back down towards its normal price of around 15k. Um, although over the course of 6 months here you can see... Uh, that, that there is a general uptrend in all of them, going from 12, 13 thousand per fuel block to uh, 14 to 15 thousand for a fuel block. Um, so again here, you know, any announcements by CCP uh, around bosses could have a serious impact on this market. Um, announcement, uh, announcements around industry uh, or maybe a new type of ships or a new class of ships you know something that could become a huge uh, mineral sink uh, might have a big impact on the mineral market uh, that's what i would look out for um, and then of course also on the tech one ships you know if the minerals start going up because of that then so will the tech one ships and i think that they are already working on a natural bottom uh, after the summer slowdown so this is uh, pretty interesting and the marauder hype is over i would say that's pretty obvious all of them are, are way back down uh, so unless ccp comes out with another uh, announcement around the uh, the marauders i don't think we'll see any real movements here again uh, r64 i can have a quick look at that but uh, this prosium still going up uh, neodymium pretty flat promethium slowly going back down towards 20k and then Tullium, what's that looking like? Also going down, I guess, after the war. Uh, now that the CFC own all those moons again, more stuff is coming back to the market. And we're seeing, seeing a, a controlled downtrend um, in some of these uh, moon minerals. But nothing too drastic. Uh, obviously, 0-0 zero, zero at the moment. Uh, it, it's owned by a few huge power blocks. And so they have the opportunity to completely manipulate and own these markets. Uh, but uh, again here, unless CCP announcements announces a change to the min uh, moon mining again, uh, this won't change anytime soon. And uh, I don't expect them to go back to that uh, so soon after what they did with Odyssey. So yeah, I guess that's it uh, overall. I would say if, if the minerals do find their bottom in the next few weeks, we are looking at the possibility of the entire economy moving uh, back in an upwards uh, trend for prices because of increased activity um, and of course the real barometer for this are the plexus and this, this is great this is a, such a good chart for me having invested in plex i hope you have as well at least on some of them it's it's picking up and if we go at a one year chart it's right on cue mirroring what happened last year really big up spike here um, yeah, it's, it's as I had expected, uh, pretty volatile. And in fact, looking back now um, at this period below 520, it was not as visible while this was happening. Interestingly enough, uh, last year, you know, I was constantly looking 
uh, for this buying opportunity and I never really felt it was here but looking back at the chart now it's pretty obvious that below 520 so um, I think the, the one previous was at around 480 the year before this so a 30 40 million markup uh, on, the, on the year on, on that sense in that sense um, although I had a really hard time finding this buying opportunity last year I managed to buy a lot of them below 500 uh, just before the summer expansion I think it was around uh, April or, or so when I really did my investments yeah yeah so it, it did work out but I, I've, I've been waiting for this opportunity for quite a bit uh, but now right on time the, the upswing is here so I think this indicates more people are coming back and, and more demand for Plex, more demand for Taekwon chips as well. Uh, general activity is bound to increase towards the winter expansion. Let's hope the announcement is pretty awesome. And then we are talking current prices because that's really what's interesting. Oh my god, 5.99 already in station. That's the 600 million mark. Is really, really close. And uh, it's, it's not even... Uh, I think it's not close to a top just yet. Uh, although 600 million is psychologically uh, a very important one, uh, considering where the previous bottom was, I would not be surprised to see hmm, a, a 5 day moving average spike of 650 or something like that. I think is possible uh, in the upcoming weeks. So, yeah, it's really awesome for people that have Plex, of course. 599 that's that's quite amazing um, buyers 586 so they're really being pushed up right now um, that's just a let's see oh actually that's a four, 13 13 million margin which is a normal one for Plex uh, so looking at the margin we might actually be seeing at a slowing down now uh, because last week the margin was extremely thin uh, by others were really pushing up the price uh, but that margin has found its way back to normal so if it increases i'm going to uh, be looking out for a selling opportunity uh, because after that uh, it, we might just see a little bit of a pullback uh, although it, it feels a little bit early uh, this is all speculation territory towards the expansion so i think next week actually is going to be really important i'm gonna have to take a look at the announcement uh, if that bombs you know if, if they really don't announce anything too special I, I'll be looking to sell uh, at least half my Plex uh, if it's an awesome announcement that I can expect a lot of people to be excited for uh, I wouldn't be surprised to be able to get rid of my Plex at as much as 650 million ISK it's looking really good for this investment um, and thus this is a, a good sign that general activity in EVO Online is increasing as well at the moment uh, together with uh, what's happening on the take one chip uh, part here as well so yeah there you go awesome for the plex uh, the 600 million is so close way earlier than what i had expected so i'm going to have to start to actively keep an eye on this market every day uh, and, and just try and snipe that great selling opportunity um, but uh, yeah that's it for this week guys uh, a look at the markets in eve online uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.